Hello everybody, I'm Trotters Osair and welcome to this video where today I'm going to show you my second ever one command structure. So basically what this one does is that it disables dropping, specifically item dropping, you know, this thing. Yeah, so when you press Q, it will automatically put that item that you just tried dropping back into your inventory. So, to get it into your world, first off, give yourself a command block, or rather, before that, find the spawn chunks. And uh, if you don't know what or where the spawn chunks are, you'll just basically have to kill yourself, or find the spawn point. Just slash kill, and where we respawn are the spawn chunks. Basically, I think it's actually a 20 by 20 chunk area, so a pretty large area. But still, try to be relatively near the spawn point. So, after that, after you have found ch spawn chunks, give yourself a command block. By opening chat, typing slash give space at p space command underscore block. Then place it down anywhere you want, and uh, to know which way the command blocks will appear, you can open a free screen. And then the cursor in the middle with uh, the three different colored lines, whichever way the red line points is the way that where the command blocks will appear. So basically, the three command blocks will appear right here. So after this, after I have found uh, my spot to execute the command, and you know, uh, then uh, you have to actually copy the command. So go into the description of this video and uh, to the pastebin link. And uh, there you have to copy the command from the raw section so you wouldn't have any line numbers and such. So just click in the raw section, press Ctrl A to select it all and then Ctrl C to copy it into a clipboard. And then come back to Minecraft. After that open the command block and do Ctrl V to paste it in and because this is of course Minecraft 1.9 or at least the latest snapshot you can easily just click each redstone and it will change into always active press done and it will activate itself now like you can see in the chat it'll tell you item droppings have been disabled for all players online at this moment to disable droppings for future players run this command when someone joins so here's the command, scope of player set at a disable dropping one. And uh, yeah, basically it'll disable dropping for all the players online at that moment. So basically what I'm trying to say with this these uh, sentences is that when you paste the command in, it sets a scoreboard value of every player online to one of the disable dropping. And uh, basically this command block contraption works only on players that have the scoreboard uh, value set to 1. Meaning that if someone joins after, or has joined before but isn't online at the moment of pasting in this command block structure, they will still be able to drop items. But I'll just uh, show you in action what, uh, what this structure basically does. So I press Q and poof. It just immediately pops right into my hand. So yeah, and uh, the command slash scoreboard players set at a disable dropping one. This uh, sets disable dropping. Uh, sorry, I wrote it wrong. But disable dropping for everyone online to one, so it disables dropping. If you want everyone to be able to drop items, you can set it to zero. You don't have to destroy this. Or if you want to disable dropping items for a specific player, you can enter the name uh, instead of that at A. So like that. And now I can't drop items. If I set it to zero, then well, I can. And uh, that's everything. So it's actually really simple to paste in, it works really well, and uh, it does support items that you have created before, that uh, maybe you have made them 
like not pick upable ever and not dis dis despawning ever for like I don't know showcase of purposes and such. So it doesn't mess with any of our items in the world except the ones that the player drops at that moment. So yeah, let me set it back to one one last time. So yeah, and no other player can pick it up, even if uh, standing in the dropping player. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, a like would be appreciated. Our Minecraft users, and as always, happy Minecrafting. See you next time, guys.